Hello, I'm Dimyake Mwakalielie. This is In Focus. Vincent McCory is off today. We begin with developments in Uganda. United States President Barack Obama says the bombings in Uganda that killed 76 people show extremist militant groups have a vision of destruction and death for Africa. In an interview with the South African Broadcasting Corp company or SABC. Mr. Obama says the deadly bombings indicate the Islamist extremists are not considering long-term consequences as they wage ideological battles and kill innocent bystanders. Meanwhile, the U.S. ambassador to Uganda, Jerry Lanier, says the attacks make the U.S. presence in the region more important than ever. Uh, Al-Shabaab has shown a willingness to kill civilians outside of Maya. This was, uh, I think, uh, President Obama characterized it as a deplorable and cowardly act and we certainly agree with that and so we hope to increase our support uh, as needed and as requested by the Ugandans. Now for an update of what's going on in Uganda we're joined via phone from Kampala by VOA's Peter Heinlein. Now Peter you've had a very busy day starting off with a news conference this morning can you just kind of summarize what happened? Well yes the uh, police and uh, pathologists have been giving us uh, information uh, about the uh, the dead, they do have two unidentified headless uh, or heads, I should say, without bodies. They believe are the uh, heads of two suicide bombers. Uh, there's been one other development that they uh, told us about, and that is uh, a body has arrived that they believe might have been uh, an expatriate uh, who was beaten to death by a crowd uh, in a city market last evening. Those details are still um, uh, coming in to us, though. Now, we know that al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility, and the government say that they will hold those accountable. Any arrests or anybody close to being arrested? Well, they have six uh, people in custody, but they won't tell us anything about them. Uh, there is uh, speculation that uh, some of them are foreigners. It's possible all of them are foreigners, but uh, the police are keeping that information very uh, close to their vests. And threats are continuing. You just mentioned today that the police had to disperse a huge crowd by shooting into the air because there was another threat or seeming threat of another bomb, maybe? Yes, in, the, in a market in the center of the city, Chisaka, uh, there was a, 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 a bag that was uh, seen lying there unattended. People panicked, called the police. A large crowd gathered. Uh, as the police uh, began to investigate, the crowd started pushing forward. It got unruly. Police were uh, uh, frightened that if it were a bomb, people could be injured. So they fired into the air to try to disperse the crowd, and uh, several shots were fired. But nobody was injured, and it turned out not to have been an explosive device. Now, during the course of the day, Peter, you also managed to attend a funeral of one of the victims. Uh, what a sight it might, must have been. Can you just uh, share with us? It was the Roman Catholic Cathedral here, a young woman, 29 years old, who had gone to celebrate uh, the what was probably uh, one of Africa's greatest uh, sports moments, uh, was chilled along with her, uh, with her two colleagues at, uh, from Standard Chartered Bank, 500 people in the, in the Roman Catholic uh, Cathedral. It was a beautiful and quite moving ceremony uh, for this 29-year-old uh, beautiful young woman who's gone with now. Well, thank you so much, Peter. I think we'll be talking to you over the course of the week. One, um, thanks very much for that update. My pleasure. All right. Call anytime. Anytime. Thank you so much. Peter Heinlein, our VOA correspondent currently in Kampala.